Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're working on my Articat 650 H1 TRV and what we're replacing today is the 4x4 actuator in the front. If you have issues engaging in 4x4 and it does not engage or this little motor inside here continues to run, does not shut off, what usually happens with this actuator is that there's plastic gears and stuff inside and they strip out or the kit leak in moisture and the circuit board gets fried. There's many things. But what we're going to do, I lost four wheel drive in my quad so we're going to replace this with a used one. Because I'm going to tell you right now, a new one was 600 and some bucks. I picked up this one used for 150. It's supposed to be guaranteed to work. So let's find out. To remove the actuator on your front differential, there is three bolts. One right there. One right there on the opposite side. And there's actually one behind that we're gonna to get to. So let's start removing those. And this is a T27. So that's the last screw right there. Right behind, it's a little awkward to get at. This is why I say you should remove the skid pan to get underneath. It does make it easier to have the tire removed and I also removed the skid pan to get at that one in behind and while we're at it someone's gonna ask I just removed the electrical and what you do is there's a tab right there you just pull up and then pull out once all three screws are out just pull it back just as so so now we've got the actuator pulled out, what you're going to see here is this pin and as you can see you can push it in and I'm assuming that's to engage the four wheel drive as it pushes the fork in and then out like that disengages it. So let's put in the used actuator, hook it up, fire it up and see if it works. Yeah, you don't want to be putting that thing in dry so otherwise you'll damage that o-ring then your fluid will leak out your differential. And it'll be a bad day for you. So I'm feeding it through the pin first. You can see right there. Pin first. <sighs> Gonna have to use both hands to push that in. Hold on. Okay, we got it in. You know it's in when you hear a pop and your bolt holes align. Let's get those bolts back in. And then we're gonna see. Hopefully our problem's fixed. Fingers crossed. Once you're done bolting up the actuator, plug in the electrical, we're ready to fire it up. It engages, that's a good sign. Let's engage it. That being said, the actuator fixed my problem, so we don't have to dig in further into the differential to see what was the problem. Basically, in another video, we're going to take apart that actuator that I have, and we're going to see what failed. Anyways, one video done on the Articat, many more to go. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.